You're watching MusicX. My name is Vineet Malhotra. The war of words over the Congress's vow to conduct a wealth survey has, well, exploded. After Prime Minister Modi's tough talk expressing worry over the Grand Old Party's promise, Rahul Gandhi has hit back. The Gandhi sign has stated that the BJP is panicking and is uh, taking recourse to attacking the Congress over this issue rather than focusing on their own work and agendas. He has reiterated the Congress's vow made to conduct a caste and a wealth census and has deemed this his guarantee. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister expended no time to fire back. While addressing election rallies today, Prime Minister Modi has warned that the Congress will snatch people's property and will go to the extent of even snatching the Mangal Sutra of women. The BJP and Congress have been locking horns over this issue for the last couple of days and have even been debating who has the first right to the country's resources and assets. Well, on one hand is Rahul Gandhi's X-ray ideology, while on the other hand is the Prime Minister's Sabka Saath vision. In this regard, we ask what's Haq and what's Hakikat. We'll talk about this with our guests. Joining us on the show to lend their opinion is Mr. Mukesh Tyagi, BJP spokesperson. Sujata Paul, Congress spokesperson, also joins us on the program. Advocate Manasvi Thapar, political analyst, with us on the program here as well. Gautam Mukherjee, senior journalist, joins us on the show too. Last but by no means the least, Mr. Sumit Peer, senior political commentator, also with us on the program. Thank you everyone for being a part of this. Sujata Paulji, I'll begin with you. Uh, we are talking about a war of words which has been ensuing between the BJP and the Congress. It is not only a war of words, it's actually, uh, uh, you know, in fact, uh, a head-on between ideologies and the manifestos that both the parties considered to be best for the country. What do you think, ma'am, is best for the country? Is a caste census, is a socio-economic census good for the country? And the word distribution, or rather redistribution, as per what I have, whatever I have read, I could not read or find the word redistribution in the Congress manifesto. However, I have seen and heard speeches where Rahul Gandhi has used the word redistribution. How would you put this all in context from a Congress's point of view and prism, ma'am? The fact is that the Prime Minister is desperate to polarize and communalize the election. Because if you have seen our manifesto, like you mentioned, Nowhere is it mentioned that the wealth is going to be taken away by, uh, from uh, people distributed it. Of course, what we are talking about is the rightful uh, place for every person in society to be given to that person. And a country can only progress when the weakest of the weak are allowed a platform. And that is what our manifesto talks about. When we say nyai, when we say that we are bringing you guarantees, we are talking about specific issues which are plaguing the country, like the issues of uh, uh, Mangai, price rise, and Berozgari, unemployment. So when we talk about how we can remove unemployment, we are talking about the 30 lakh uh, jobs which are lying vacant in the central government. Now, when we talk about those government jobs, those are already there and they haven't been filled up by the BJP. In fact, they have allowed to uh, let this number increase drastically. So where is any kind of uh, taking away from anybody and giving it to somebody's concern? When we talk about the Mahalakshmi scheme, the Pradhan Mantri talks about uh, Musalman, Zada Bacche Wale, uh, if I am uh, incorrect, please correct me. Isn't uh, Mr. Modi one of six children? So I don't know who he is targeting. The fact is that when we talk about India, we talk about taking people forward, educating them, empowering them. So when we talk about the Mahalakshmi scheme, we are talking about giving one lakh rupees to the poor families. And one woman of the poor family will get it into her account. So, I don't understand where he's coming from, but when you talk about the caste census, the caste census really is required because, uh, and we, we ourselves uh, said, na jat pe, na paat pe. 
But after 75 years of independence, we do need to do a recheck as to how many people have progressed, how many people have come forward. So when you talk about Jat, I find it very amusing when the Prime Minister says that he belongs to the OBC. So OBC is what? A community. We are talking about the SCs, the STs, the OBC, the, the minority. So we are talking about all the people who need to be brought to the same level as the rest of the people, which includes the general uh, category of people, the poorest in the general category of people. So it is nothing to do about uh, the polarization or the communalization of politics of the BJP, but that is their ideology. And the Prime Minister attacking a Mangal Sutra, really, we gave up our uh, former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi for the country. And that actually meant that uh, Srimati Indira Gandhi lost her Mangal Sutra, Mangal Sutra for the country. Does the mm -hmm. Prime Minister have anything to say about it? But he doesn't understand the meaning of the uh, Mangal Sutra. It's very pavitra. And uh, somebody who hasn't respected uh, the Mangal Sutra that he should have been responsible for, what can you say about it? He hid from the country for 40 years that he was married. He did not uh, give it in his affidavit. And talking about the Mangal Sutra uh, today is, you know, a little too much from him. Okay. Let's get a response to what you have said from Mr. Mukesh Tyagi as well, Mr. Tyagi. Uh, you know, the assessment, according to uh, Sujata Apology, of uh, where the country has, uh, you know, been for the last 75 years, socio-economically, is not a bad idea. The census has been done every 10 years. Perhaps this is the first 10 years that have gone by where we haven't seen a census uh, going through. How would you respond to the pointers that she has made and, of course, the allegations as well? Monday, charity begins at home. I am just asking whether when Mandal Commission report was submitted, did Rajiv Gandhi implement Mandal Commission report? It was the, all the backward commissions was set up by Mr. Modi. They did not even do that. Now they are talking about the caste census. You know what happened in 2011 caste census? They did not disclose. They, they were in power for three more years to go. What did they do during that caste census? So there is an inherent contradiction in what they say and what they speak. Same thing is with Sam Petroda, who is talking about the inheritance tax and he's equating India. They say, why it is not in India? Now suddenly when they realize it, they have, they have gone from bad to worse, then they are disowning Sam Petroda. But then if you really want to disown Sam Petroda, issue a uh, notification that we are expelling Sam Petroda for making a responsible statement on inheritance tax. So there is a... There is a tacit endorsement what uh, Sam Petroda is saying. I think Prime Minister is highlighting their ultimate intention. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has baptized himself into communism, which has gone through a very huge obsolescence in the world. And Mr. he is trying to reinvent the wheel of communism because under the influence of certain uh, factions of India. So, but government India cannot be, be suffering because of the confused policies of the Congress because they say something and they do different things. Their past conduct establishes that they were never serious about the caste census. What, what happened in Karnataka beneath? The DK Shukumar, who is the president of KP, uh, Karnataka Pradesh Congress Committee, he has written to the chief minister that we don't want the caste census to be done. Have you taken any action, disciplinary action against DK Shukumar? What has happened in Rajasthan? Gehlot mentioned around, close to the election when Bihar uh, census was disclosed, then they realized, oh, we should also jump onto this bandwagon. But there were some other compelling reasons why the uh, census was disclosed at that time. But, and they, they said, we will conduct it. What, which state you have done it? You are, you are ruling in different states. Have you done any caste census in any of the states? So please don't talk like this, that we, we are sympathetic with the caste census. They are talking about the redistribution of wealth vehemently all over the country. That we will redistribute, we will do the financial institutional investigation. We will also do the wealth assessment and do the redistribution. It is a public statement by the leaders. Now, what do you mean by that? Why don't you amplify it? So is it not Mr. Prime, Prime Minister Modi responsibility to give sufficient notice to the people that these are their divisive intentions. They want to divide the country. They want to be under the influence of this leftist policies because that is their support they are trying to get in, in Kerala, maybe. That could be one of the reasons for he's contesting Vayanar. He left Amerity. So he's only doing the lip service. 
where is he going to calculate this one lakh rupees which he will give it to the uh, lowest strata and the women uh, every every month he will transfer eight thousand five hundred rupees? Has he given any quantification of the evaluation from where he is going to get this money from? So he is going to tax somewhere here and there, and he is going to add to the tax burden. That's why inheritance inheritance tax is uh, is 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 a hypothesis which was actually withdrawn in nineteen eighty five. Which was called the State Act in 1985, and Rajiv Gandhi withdrew it in 1985. So there is a there is a huge deliberation going on that we will start taxing people. We will start taxing. We will go to the extent of evaluating what the wealth they have. Wealth means what? Wealth means assets. Assets evaluation. So it does it does not discriminate. There will be a threshold beyond which we will do the wealth assessment. So there is no threshold given uh, by, by, by Congress. So obviously it is going to apply to the cross the nation. So you are going to uh, peep into everybody's uh, cupboard. You are going to peep into the poor men, uh, poor women's uh, uh, store. Uh, that what what kind of gold you have. So what is wrong with the prime minister is warning the people that these are the divisive intention of okay. Rahul Gandhi. Okay, and let's let's open Sumit Peer as well. Sumit, what do you think of this back and forth that is going on when it comes to redistribution? Obviously, this is uh, you know loaded. Uh, you know, with, 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 with a sense of uh, deviating from what the issue exactly is. The Congress says that's not what they intended to say. They have been misinterpreted. The Prime Minister said that this is exactly what the Congress wants. Uh, Vinny, thank you very much for having me on your show. In fact, there are a couple of things, so allow me a minute more today. First of all, the Congress is on the grand old policy of divide Hindus. You want to do a consensus because you want to divide Yadav, Jat, Kurmi, then you want to divide it for district, then you want to go to Taluka, from Toloko you want to go into Mola. This Hindu unity where Hindus are talking as and block, this is what Congress doesn't want, it doesn't suit their political taste buds. So they want to divide, that's the point number one. And Mr. Rahul Gandhi is categorically saying, Kranti Kyari Vichar Batane Wala Hu. And after that, he says this. What does Kranti Kari Vichar in Hindi mean after this redistribution of wealth is there? They're clearly talking about redistribution of wealth. Why, why do we have to assess the wealth of the people? Why do you need a financial commission when you have no such intentions? Tell me for the sake of God, when you talk of redistribution of wealth and giving to the poor, you know, declared wealth of Rahul Gandhi 12 crores, declared wealth of Sonia Ji 20 crores. Priyanka ji, 450 crores and Mr. Robert Vadra, 450 crores. It's 1800 crores. So first of all, can we know when that 1800 crores is getting divided and where all it is getting divided so that poor people like you and me can queue up to get something? That's the point number one. Because charity begins at home. When are you distributing that wealth? That's what you should tell. Secondly, the biggest institution which has the maximum land after government India and the railways of India is Vak Board. Is the wealth of Vak Board also going to be get dis, uh, distributed or not? Or is it only applicable to Ambani, Adani, and Aruya and a Rajni Khan? For example, if I take a very wealthy person like Rajni Khan, he started from a conductor. Bus conductor is Mr. Rajni Khan. He's very rich today. Bhai, kya galti ki Rajni Khan ne? Ambani's were living in a chawl. They are Ambani's today. Kya galti ki? Why should Ambani's uh, wealth be distributed? So what will you do? You will dismantle the antela. You will, you will take out, you will sell brick and mortar. You will take Adani's factory. You will take Aruya's... Uh, office, what are you going to do? What will you do with Amitabh Bachchan? Amitabh Bachchan is also rich. What will you do with Sachin Tendulkar? Virat Kohli is also rich. There are a lot of people who are rich who come from very menial backgrounds and are rich to that state. For example, Rajni Khan. So what is this idea of redistribution of wealth? When you don't set the parameters, you don't set the criteria, you're totally silent about work board. So does the redistribution of wealth include a person like Shah Rukh Khan? Does it include a person like Azim Premji? Does it include Vakpur? Can you kindly clarify, Sujata Ji, if they are included in the list or it's only one particular community? And let's not forget, we need Manmohan Singh Ji said that minorities are the first hak hai here, and especially Muslims. So there's a minority called Mr. Ratan Tata, great son of India. He has accumulated maximum wealth for the India, and he only has 2% of the stake in the Tata group. 65% of the wealth is distributed from last 75 years in philanthropy and he's a minority. Will, uh, will what, what will you do with Mr. Ratan Tata? Are you going to take his wealth or are you going to give him the wealth? Because technically he's a minority but practically he's the richest man of India. So what will happen to his wealth? When people like Ratan Tata who are mini microscopic minority, par season se choti minority koi nahi hai, they are the maximum contributors to India. Mukesh Ambani employs lakhs of people. Crores of rupees he pays in tax. Why you have problem with Mukesh Ambani? Or you have seen that necklace of Nita Ji was of 200 500 crores. Suddenly, what idea? Why? Inka ye necklace, necklace nena. So when you start with a necklace, you are going to go to the Mangal Sutra. That's what the Honorable Prime Minister is saying. Because you have lost the election, you have lost the plot. You once said that one lakh rupees har ek ko denge. We need. There will be 40 lakh eligible women in this country. Who will get one lakh? Okay, okay. Quickly wrap up. So one one minute, one, one second more. Then answer Rahul Gandhi ji said that Joe Insta pe dekhega, usko bhi paise dunga. 
देन इफ यू वॉन्ट मी एन ऑल स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट इंस्टा हंड्रेड फोर्टी करोड़ पीपल स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट इंस्टा एक सौ चालीस लाख करोड़ उतना तो भारत का बजट नहीं है भाई क्या कर रहे हो घर बैठे बैठे हर एक को पैसे दे रहे हो क्या इज दिस वॉट यूर न्यू प्लान ऑफ ग्रैंड भारत इज दिस इज हाउ यू मेक इट वेन इज वेल एंड टू ईयर्स This is exactly a plan to make Bharat Venezuela okay. into two. Man- Manasvi, whose 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 who's, who's attention is the Congress Party or the BJP attracting uh, because of this back and forth? Who do you think is noticing? Do you think the people who are actually looking to improve their lives and you know be a part uh, of of you know the Vixit Bharat are actually looking at this politics? Are they looking at these promises or are they looking at it from a very skeptical lens? On a lighter note, when Sumit ji was having that coffee, I thought that is where the energy is coming out from. Uh, on a serious note, coming back to the debate, debate topic. So uh, I think this 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 particular debate is something which which may go the Congress way. Why? Because the wealthy people in our country is only one person, two person. But by this debate, what happens here is that those people who are not wealthy or who are below the poverty line will always have this uh, feeling of envy that yeah, who Amir ho gaya, who 250 crore ki. वो मंगल सूत्र पहन रहा है पांच सौ करोड़ का ज्वेलरी पहन रहा है सो उस कॉन्टेक्स बिकम्स दिस वे दैट देर इज अ डिस्पैरिटी द डिस्पैरिटी कुड बी बिकॉज वन पर्सन वर्किंग हार्ड वन जनरेशन हैज वर्क हार्ड और देर आर गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज विच हेल्प दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्सन और समथिंग और अ कंपनी बट द रियालिटी इज इंडिया इज हेविली टैक्स इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट द बिगेस्ट टैक्स uh takers of the world in the, and now wealth tax comes to come, comes to play so people the middle class becomes shaky about it uh, let's forget about uh, the poor class the middle cl- class which is also a very big vote bank for the bjp and also for the congress but they don't have a clarity so once what happens with congress here is so uh, the idea which does not have anything as of now he puts it up portrays it up and the the love for sam petroda i don't know why which which crops up for congress every time whenever he speaks something he only damages uh, congress he should have been quiet he is not living in india he does not have anything to do with in india only when when rajiv gandhi was there he did some kind of telecom revolution or a part of that particular purpose but after that he just trying to project himself that he is a savior of india while not living in india while trying to uh, portray rahul gandhi or he would be a, he would be a great fan lover family man of rahul gandhi irrespective of that but somehow his sentiments or comments don't go with the people of india right now he may had had a point when he was there during his times in 1990 but right for me so that it to be right now hello right, i think sujata ji you were there with something else yeah so right now he's not making to he's not making any point out of it so what is happening is whenever he speaks something be it hua to hua or now the wealth tax what happens here is people are confused why is he speaking he is not needed he is not needed here he can't fight an election here he is not a citizen of the country he is not he is just an advisor to rahul gandhi he is just a congressman sitting there out of india trying to do something good for congress but his right. comments okay. are not good for now okay. last point 30 quickly now, quickly happens? please bjp also loves him whenever he speaks anything he is a nobody but during election they go to him or they find a bite of him and they make sure that every social media handle of bjp talks about him and there is where the leverage of sam petroda which is in favor of bjp comes out so please if you want to fight election and if you will to uh, have a will to win let him be quiet tell him that you okay. don't speak what but but but, but gautam but. gautam does the does this not uh, reek of a premise that uh, you know there is a grudge by the have nots against the haves isn't it based on this well i i, I think congress is trying to provoke this but this is very old potatoes you're pulling out uh, the communist playbook correct possibly with advice from communist china uh, with whom uh, the gandhis in particular are very thick then they also take on people like sam petroda who like the, like mr thapar just said uh, shoots and scoots and 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 says things to rile people up i think congress knows that it is likely to you know sink to the floor in this election uh, it has even been ostracized by the india group uh, i can just imagine kale who is sitting on crores and crores and mamta who is sitting on similar crores and crores and for that matter robert vadra Was sitting on billions, listening to Rahul Gandhi talk of redistribution of wealth. 
it is a very old idea that went nowhere some of the other you know enablers to it uh, the, the caste censors and so on will be mired in the mud trying to figure out who to uh, uh, you know call rich and who to call poor because in every community after 75 years there are quite a few who are quite well off uh, you know, if you if, if you define 10 lakhs and below as not well off, that by itself tells you that things are are, are not what they used to be. That that abject poverty has disappeared. Uh, 25 crores more have been lifted out over the last year. Uh, pretty soon, you're going to have no such thing as below the poverty line. Uh, the the per capita for all the noise about it has gone from $400 in 2000 to about $2,500 now, is likely to go to $5,000. If you are if you are talking of things like wealth tax and inheritance tax, nobody worth his salt who has any money is going to fall victim to it because there are hundreds of dodges. What Petroda is not saying is that nobody in America pays 40% inheritance tax. He either sets up trusts or he redistributes his wealth during his lifetime or, or he plays, you know, a philanthropist and sets up NGOs like uh, the, 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 the Bill Gates of this world. Okay. Bill Gates is sitting on all his money in the NGO along with all his family and friends and whoever else he wants to share the wealth with, uh, like his former wife. All right, okay. So, 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 you know, all right. This has not worked. In the height of socialism, they had to abandon both wealth tax because it yielded nothing, inheritance tax because it yielded nothing. We have plenty of smart CAs and lawyers to tell us what to do. And, and this is nonsense and desperation. Okay, all right. At let's let's get a minute, Yeah. To try and rile up the poor, uh, they don't understand all this. We, really. we, we have completely run so out of time. Sujata ji, you, you, yeah, yeah, yes. you have a lot to respond to, ma'am. Go ahead. Yes. You know, the fact is that uh, uh, whatever has been said, I don't think Mr. Tyagi knows that uh, the census uh, report has already been submitted uh, by the uh, to the Karnataka government on 29th Feb 2024. Then Telangana is also doing a caste census. He doesn't know that. When we talk about Adani, we are talking. We are uh, not against one particular industrialist. We are against the, mon uh, mon uh, the monopoly by a few industrialists. That is what we are talking about. When we talk about Dr. Manmohan Singh's statement, the clarification was also issued by Dr. Manmohan Singh, and what he said was basically about the fruits of development that should reach the SCs, the STs, the OBCs, the women, children, and minorities. So uh, it's all very fine to pick up one sentence and uh, take it out of context. But when we talk about uh, uh, the inheritance tax, of course, it, the estate tax was removed by uh, uh, the then Prime Minister, late Sri Rajiv Gandhi. And uh, Mr. Tyagi has mentioned it. However, when we talk about inheritance tax, it is what is in the minds of the BJP is what is coming out uh, from their mouths. And I will uh, make you listen to this particular... Oh, Jan said a statement. Can't hear. Can't hear. Yeah. Can't hear. All right. So what he said? So, ah, ha. समझ में तो आएगी नहीं. कोई बात नहीं. समझ में नहीं आई है. एक बात कुछ बोल देंगे पीछे. But man, you are misquoting Prime Minister. But you are misquoting Prime Minister. अरे मुझे बोल तो लेने दीजिए. अरे बोल तो लेने दीजिए. बोल तो लेने दीजिए. Problem क्या हो रही है? When we are talking about this statement only, you know, this was endorsed by none less than. Your uh, chief of troll, uh, uh, Mr. Amit Malviya, and he put out a tweet regarding it on uh, 10th uh, November 2014. So here this tweet is. I hope you can see this properly. This has been put okay, up. Okay, quick, quickly. All right, Amit. all right, ma'am. So We've the fact that. is that we yeah. are not talking about redistribution of any wealth. What we are talking about, you can never understand. If three lakh crore benefit can be given oh, to industry benefit. <laughs> Then 2 lakh crore is what the figure comes out to when we talk about the Mahalakshmi scheme as per 1 lakh rupee per uh, poor, uh, you know, family.
So I don't think anybody should have a problem with that. If we can give benefits to uh, industrialists, why not to the poor people of our country, poor family? Okay, all right. I would request we need to run Prime Minister Manmohan Singh's. Uh, okay, one second. Sumit, Sumit, you have a point to make quickly, quickly, Not quickly. We've run out of time. Sumit, go on. Just one point to meet where Sunita, Suryata ji is saying whatever we are saying, you cannot understand it. So, how are the people of the country going to understand it? And tell me. Yeah, you can't women. understand. The people of the country will find deliverance. Suryata ji, put it for women and everybody on Instagram. I think you haven't understood. One woman, 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 Okay, all right. We've run out of time. We unfortunately, we've run out of time. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We've run out of time. Appreciate everyone joining us. So we really can't accommodate any more reactions. Now we take a short break. Be right back. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.